welcome back to my channel. Today I am channeling some more like grungy style vibes. I feel like recently I did loads of really nice, cute, flirty, fun, summery, bright coloured, bold looks. And I really fancied something a bit different and also I have this t-shirt on. And I just felt like doing something a bit dark. I've kept the lip really neutral because I feel like when I do like a darker eye I don't want to then always do a really dark lip as well because I feel like it can be a bit much. So I've gone for basically just a Vaseline and then a tiny bit of the Candy K Lip Liner by Kylie Cosmetics. We just put a tiny bit of that around the outside just to give like a tiny bit of definition to the lip but it's mostly Vaseline. I really like how this look turned out. I feel like it's really easy to create as well. I just used like maybe three or four colours. If you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And if you want to know how to recreate the look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to do my eyes first today because I'm going to use some like real darker tones on my eyes. But I'm just going to prime my face first. And I'm going to use this primer which is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I have just washed and moisturised my face so I don't need to put primer on because it's already ready to go. But sometimes it's just nice to take this step even though like I really feel... It doesn't really do anything. You know? Makes you feel the part. So, I wasn't really sure what look I wanted to go for today. And then I put this t-shirt on and you probably can't really see it, but it's a bit like under vibe. So I want to do something like dark, maybe a bit smoky, kind of like a teal. So I'm going to use this Morphe palette and this is the Artistry palette. If I can open it up. It's got a really cute selection of colours, mainly like teals, browns. It's got a dark purple there, which I like, kind of like a mauve. And yeah, so I'm probably just going to use like these kind of colours and then maybe also this shimmery, <coughs> maybe also this like shimmery green colour as well. <sighs> Let's get it hot in here. I'm going to prime my eyes as well. Once I have located my primer, so we see it all white my eyes now. I'm just gonna have to use concealer, but that's So to prime my eyes, I'm gonna use my Painterly Pro Long White Paint Pot by MAC. And it's just this little guy, so he's like quite in tune with my skin tone. And I'm just gonna use my finger to apply it. I haven't actually used this guy in ages, because I've been using concealer, but I think sometimes when I do my eyes first, I just want to feel like I'm doing them more properly with an actual primer rather than just a concealer, you know? Whereas like if I'm doing my face first and I've already got my concealer on my hand, then I'll just use my concealer. I feel like I've been doing really girly looks recently on my channel, like purple, because I did like a season with the Hidden Beauty palette, which it's quite like feminine and cute. If you haven't checked out the videos, go and check them out, but it's these colours. So it's quite different to now going in with these bad boys. Yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't actually done like a proper like dark, smoky-esque kind of look in a while. So plus it's summer, so it's not really like the season for dark smoky eyes really, but I really want to do it. brushes am I going to use today? Oh. I'm going to start off with my MAC 224 which is my like go-to at least for the first colour. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's like a lighter colour here to start with or if I should use a colour from a different palette but sometimes I find it a bit annoying if I do a tutorial with more than one palette because then it's like if you want to recreate the look you have to wear two palettes instead of one so I do like to try and stick to one palette. I'm going to start off with Strike a Pose, which is that colour there. I feel like it's the lightest one in the colour, but I could be a touch, touch colour blind and also like not able to see. So I'm going to lightly start working this into my crease, just backwards and forwards. And also I love this palette because it's got a huge mirror, which I really like. Yeah, I'm not sure how dark this colour is, so I'm just starting off lightly. And then making sure to blend. Hmm. I do recall this palette is like not the easiest in terms of blending. 
So we're going to try the extra careful with it. Next I'm going to go in with Sorry Not Sorry, Oop. which is that one over there, which is kind of like a deep mauve again, it's like deeper than the one before but it's like a purpley brown. And I'm going to use a JH32 crease brush to apply it, and then I'm going to keep this just to the crease and just go back and forwards in the crease. But yeah, you really do have to take your time with these colours. I don't know if it's just because they're like darker, but they are quite hard to blend. But they definitely don't blend out as easy as other colours. But yeah, they are really nice and dark and like pigmented and they've got cute co co pose, cute like tones in them. So once I've put it down in the crease, I'm just kind of blending upwards a tiny bit and along a tiny bit. But there won't be much on my brush, so it's more just to like help blend it out than anything else. When I first go in with the colour, I'm like super super light so that it doesn't all go down on the skin in one spot. And then as it's sitting on my skin and coming off the brush, you can press a little bit harder and then... You don't have to also be so specific with your brush. But I'm also kind of like looking downwards and like making sure that my eyelid is pulled taut a bit. So like raising my eyebrows as well just to keep the skin surface flat as well because you don't want to see like brush strokes on your skin. And I think I'm happy with the where it is for now. So I like how that's looking for now. So I'm going to go in with the shimmer. And I'm going to use my finger, which I always do when I um, apply shimmers. Because I feel like you get the best out of your shimmer that way. And also, God gave me fingers. And I feel like I should use them. This is called Glam. So it's kind of appropriate. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. But I'm going to um, keep the inner bit of the lid blank for now because I want to go in with this one after and this one's called work it so there's like a slight gradient from light to dark and I'm just going to use my third finger along so just getting a good amount of colour and then yeah I'm going to put this all over the lid. Ew, I really like that. That's a really nice colour. So I don't want to bring it too high and I'm probably going to use a brush to like apply it closer in the crease but just to get the main colour down I'm going to use my finger. Mm, I really like this colour. I haven't used it before and it's really cute. So I'm going to swap to my pinky now and I'm going to go in with that shade Work It, which was the lighter green shimmer, and I'm going to put this on the inner part. That looks really cute. I know it's very subtle because the colours are a bit similar, but it does look really, really nice. making sure I'm getting the colour all the way in there. I'm just going to use a blank um, JH30 so it doesn't have anything on it, just to blend that out there, because obviously using your finger can like stamp the shimmer down a bit, and you don't want it to actually be like a stamped effect, you know? I really like that teal vibe, you know. Just gonna swap to a MAC 252 just to help put the shimmer down but in a more like blended way. I'm gonna try it without any fix plus first of all. Which is actually fine because I don't want loads to be going down anyway. And then I'm gonna go back in with the JH32. I'm not gonna put anything on it but just to help blend where the shimmer meets the matte shadow. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more of the Sorry Not Sorry colour just to help blend it in the crease. And then I'm going to go back in with my MAC 224 and the very first colour I used which was that lighter brown and it's called Strike Pose just to make sure that I don't lose that brownness on the outside, but being very, very light-handed with it. 
I really like the way these colours look together, this like teal and then going into the brown, which is using small circular motions to help blend it out. So I really like the way that looks and I'm going to leave that there for now and I'm just going to come on to the lower lash line. So I'm going to start off with my JH40 which is this really really small like definer brush and I really love using this on the lower lash line. Sometimes or like most of the time more so than using um, one of these brushes because obviously these um, hairs like really short so it's really for like getting close to the lower lash line and it's more of like getting a defined lower lash line whereas this for me is more of getting like a blown out like smoky kind of lower lash line less like definition going on i'm going to go in first of all with the color strike pose once again and i'm going to put that all the way along the lower lash line oh i haven't even concealed under my eye which i've just realized so first of all i'm going to conceal underneath my eyes i'm going to use my tarte shape tape concealer and this is in the shade fair beige 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 so i'm just going to put a couple of dots I know I haven't done my foundation and I normally put foundation before concealer but just because I want to do my lower lash line I'm going to put my concealer down first and it doesn't really matter either way. And then I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge and this is the one by Morphe to blend it all out. I'm not going to set that yet because I am going to come back and probably add to it a bit once I'm doing my face, but it's good for now, so. Next I'm going to go in with the shade Sorry Not Sorry, which was the second colour that I then used on my um, upper lid. And I'm going to swap to that um, brush that I was just talking about where you want to keep it closer to the lash line. So this is a smudge brush and this one is by Real Techniques. And I am going to keep this really, really tight to the lash line and only on the outer part of the eye as well because it is a really dark colour and I don't want to make my eyes feel like they're like closing up by putting a dark colour all the way along there. So I just tend to go like halfway along, so like directly in the centre of my eye, like where my pupil is with this darker colour. And then next I'm going to use a clean finger and put a tiny bit of the this one like in the centre of the eye and then put this one just towards the like inner part of the eye. So basically mimicking exactly what I've got on the upper eyelid. I'm actually going to swap to use this brush because I don't want this to be messy. I want it to be on the lash line right there in the centre. Then I'm going to go in with the colour Work It and just keep this, I'll just use my finger, on the inner part of the lower lash line. I'm going to leave my eyes there for now. I'm just going to throw my eyelashes on, do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So there you have the finished look. I really like it, I know it's not super summery but I think sometimes it's nice to just switch it up anyway and I feel like I was doing a lot of like summery girly vibe looks for the summer which is fun but then I feel like I need to get a bit grungy and do like something super dark and smoky so I really like it, I feel like it's a really easy look to achieve as well and I did just stick to the one palette which I sometimes try to do as well just in case you do want to recreate the look you don't have to go and then buy loads of different palettes. But I really hope you like the look, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.